This is part 26 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss local and global variables in JavaScript. In JavaScript, there are two types of variables, local variables and global variables. Let's look at a few examples. Here we have a function called hello world. Inside this function, we are declaring a variable called greeting and initializing that with the string hello. In the next line, we are modifying its value greeting equals greeting plus JavaScript. So at this time, this variable contains hello JavaScript string. And then we are writing its value to the document. And finally, we are calling the function. So when we run this, we expect the string hello JavaScript to be printed on the web page. Now let's try and access this variable greeting outside of the function. Now, this variable is declared inside the function. So the scope of this variable is local to that function, meaning that variable is available only inside the function. But here we are trying to access it outside of the function. Let's see what's going to happen when we run this. Notice that we get this string hello JavaScript printed once on the page. That's done by the function. And then we have this error message, greeting is undefined. That's basically because this variable greeting is available only inside the function. Outside the function, it's not available. And that's the reason why we get greeting is undefined error. So in this example, variable greeting is a local variable. So local variables are the variables declared within a function. These variables have local scope, meaning these are available only inside the function that contains them. Local variables are created when a function starts and deleted as soon as the function completes execution. What are global variables? Global variables are the variables declared outside a function. Global variables have global scope, meaning all scripts and functions on the page can access them. The lifetime of a global variable starts with its declaration and is deleted when the page is closed. Let's look at an example. So let's move this line outside of this function. So here we are declaring greeting variable outside of this function. So greeting now is a global variable. This means this variable will be available to all the functions on this page. Hello world should be able to access that variable. So when this function is called, it is going to change the value that is present in this variable. And then the function is writing its value to the document. And we're calling the function here. So it should print hello JavaScript to the web page. And let's print an HTML break. And then we are accessing greeting variable again outside of the function. Since it's a global variable now, it should be available even outside the function. So when we run this, we expect hello JavaScript string to be printed two times. So in this example, this variable greeting is a global variable. So what's a global variable? A global variable is a variable that is declared outside a function. Not only that, if we assign a value to a variable that has not been declared, then it will automatically become a global variable even if it is present inside the function. So let's look at an example of that. So I'm going to get rid of this variable declaration. So at the moment, outside of the function, we don't have greeting variable declared. And inside the function, I'm not going to use the var keyword. Instead, I'm going to directly assign a string to the variable. So in this example, greeting is not defined, but we are assigning a value directly to it. So in this example, this variable greeting is going to automatically become a global variable. So here we are writing its value um, you know, to the document. And then notice here we are trying to again access the this variable greeting outside of the function. And it is perfectly OK because of the fact that you know if you assign a value to a variable that has not been declared, it will automatically become a global variable. So when we run this piece of code, we expect the string hello JavaScript to be printed two times. A local variable can have the same name as a global variable. Changing the value of one variable has no effect on the other. If the variable value is changed inside a function, and if a local version of the variable exists, then the local variable gets modified. If the variable value is changed outside a function, then the global variable gets modified. Let's look at an example. 
So let's define a variable here. Let's call it greeting. And let's initialize that to hello from global variable. Now, since we have defined this variable outside the function, it's a global variable. Now what I'm going to do is declare another variable with the same name inside the function. So at the moment, we have got a global and a local variable with the same name. And inside the function, you know, I'm going to access this greeting variable and append three question marks to it. And let's change the string here to hello from local variable. And then outside of the function, I'm going to access again the greeting variable and then append three exclamation marks to it. Okay, so far within this program, we have got two variables, that is greeting, a local and a global variable with the same name. Now remember, inside the function, only local variables has got meaning. So if you try to access or modify a variable called greeting inside this hello world function, only the local version gets modified. So this local version of the variable contains hello from local variable with three question marks appended to it. And then outside of this function, we also have a global variable with the same name. And at the moment, it is initialized with the string hello from global variable. And here, we are again accessing greeting variable. So will the global version of this variable be modified or will the local version be modified outside of the function you know global v variables have meaning so only the global variable gets modified so hello from global variable with three exclamation marks uh, will be present so we are calling the function printing the HTML break and then we're printing the value within the greeting variable so when this program completes execution we expect hello from local variable with three question marks to be printed first and then an HTML break and then hello from global variable with three exclamation marks let's run this and see if that's what we get notice that hello from local variable hello from global variable Sometimes, due to the concept of variable hoisting, and local and global variables with the same name can cause unexpected behavior. Let's look at an example. So here we have a very simple example. We have a variable called greeting, and this is a global variable. Okay, and that's initialized to this is from global variable string. And then we are calling this function hello world. And that function is defined right here. So within the hello world function, we are accessing greeting variable. Now, we have a global variable with that name, okay? And then what we are doing later in this function is creating another variable, greeting, with the, you know, but we on this page, we already have a global variable with that name. So here, in this example, we have a global and a local variable with the same name, okay? And in JavaScript, there's a concept called variable hoisting. We already discussed what is function hoisting. Function hoisting means JavaScript moves all function declarations to the top of the page. That concept allows us to call a function even before it is defined. Okay, this code is okay because function hoisting is, go to, is going to move this function declaration to the top of the page. So we can call the function before it is defined. The same concept is also applicable to variables. So we have a concept called variable hoisting. So what do we mean by variable hoisting? Um, depending on the variable scope, they will either be moved automatically to the top of the page or to the top of the function if it's a local variable. That's called as variable hoisting. So here notice in this function we have this local variable greeting. So at runtime what actually happens is you know, this variable declaration will be moved to the top of the function because that's a local variable. And at the moment, var greeting will not be initialized to anything because only the declaration will be moved to the top. And then we are printing its value directly, you know, to the document object. Since we don't have any value defined, this is going to print this message undefined. Okay, so due to the concept of variable hoisting and 
local and global variables in this script have the same name, so a combination of this can cause unexpected behavior, you know, undefined. Because here, our intention is basically to print the value that is present in this global variable and then initialize another local variable with this string. But then, you know, JavaScript is going to work slightly differently. If you have a global variable and a local variable with the same name inside of the function, only the local variable has got meaning. It will not be referencing the global variable. And because of variable hoisting concept, we get that unexpected behavior undefined. So basically, so here we have a global variable. And then let's try to call that function hello world. And let's get rid of all this code. And inside the function, so if we do this, then this is perfectly fine. It's going to print that message hello from global variable. Because inside this function, we don't have a local variable with the same name. So when we access greeting, it will access the global variable. But the moment we declare a global variable, I mean a local variable with the same name, due to the concept of variable hoisting, at runtime the variable declaration will be moved to the top and because of that we get undefined error. In JavaScript, braces do not create scope. If you look at the example right here, uh, notice this other number variable is actually declared as part of this um, two braces. Now, in many languages like C Sharp and Java, brace, braces create scope, but not in JavaScript. So this other number variable in this example is a global variable because of the fact that braces do not create scope in JavaScript. So when I say document.write, other number, it will be available outside of those braces as well. Thank you for listening and have a great day.